गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन तो वेलकम बैक टू माई वीडियोज तो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द कैलमल इलेक्ट्रोड ओके इन प्रीवियस इलेक्ट वीडियोज वी आर ऑलरेडी स्टडीड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ रेफरेंस इलेक्ट्रोड ना विल स्टडी वन ऑफ द रेफरेंस इलेक्ट्रोड कैलमल इलेक्ट्रोड एंड इट इज ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल फॉर मेटल मेटल साल्टयन इलेक्ट्रोड ओके फर्स्ट विल स्टडी द डायग्राम ओके इन एग्जाम यू आर गेटिंग क्वेश्चन एज अ वॉट इज रेफरेंस इलेक्ट्रोड एंड राइट द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ अ कैलमल इलेक्ट्रोड सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दे मे आस्क फॉर अ फाइव मार्क्स ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फाइव मार्क्स सो इन दिस कैलमल इलेक्ट्रोड फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट एंड देन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ सेल एंड देन लास्टली यू हैव टू राइट the reaction involved in the calomel electrode okay now we'll study one by one step wise we'll move okay the first thing is diagram so this is the typical calomel electrode so this is the glass electrode actually it is made up of glass okay so this in this uh, tube it is a test tube like glass where at the bottom of the calomel electrode mercury is placed and above mercury you are having the composition of mercury and mercurous chloride that is hg2cl2 so the paste of this mercury and mercurous chloride that is called as calomel so calomel is nothing but when mercury is in contact with a non metal that is called as calomel here this hg2cl2 it is a non metal okay that's what mercury is in contact with non metal and it is called as calomel that's what due to this calomel paste the electrode has got name calomel okay this is calomel electrode the second case is there when your mercury is in contact with a metal metal like any metal you can take i'll just take the example of lead hg and lead that is pb if your mercury is in contact with lead that is another metal then that is called as amalgam but when mercury is in contact with non metal it is called as calomel that's what the name calomel electrode okay the above part is filled with a saturated kcl i hope uh, you know the meaning of saturation that is nothing but uh, saturation means there that is the maximum capacity of a solvent to dissolve the solute okay that means in another word you can say no more solute is dissolved in that particular solvent okay so here this is the saturated kcl you have used and this is a salt bridge okay and here you have used platinum electrode for the electric connection this is the platinum electrode you can see here so this is the typical calomel electrode first you have to draw the diagram and then label the things at the bottom you have mercury and the next calomel paste and next kcl that is saturated kcl and then you label salt bridge and lastly the platinum electrode okay so this is the diagram of calomel electrode now we'll move to the construction part okay in construction part whatever you have labeled in the diagram section that only you have to explain in terms of sentence okay in construction part firstly you mention that your calomel electrode is a example for metal metal salt ion electrode and the second thing is your calomel electrode is consisting of solid mercurous chloride this thing okay that is in contact with the mercury next the small amount of mercury is placed at the bottom here at the bottom of the vessel and it is covered with a paste of this mercury and mercurous chloride and the next part is filled with a saturated kcl so this you have to mention there and then lastly the electric connection is made through a platinum wire so this is the platinum wire which means uh, you are having the electric connection and this is this electrode is a one half cell here you have not taken any other cell okay this is a particularly one half cell and the representation of this calomel electrode is given by 
this that is hg hg which is in liquid state mercury is in liquid state and again it is in contact with hg2cl2 mercury is chloride that is in solid state and that is again in contact with saturated kcl this is saturated here you can see from the diagram at the bottom you have mercury mercury is in contact with mercurous chloride and then saturated kcl the same from one direction you have to move hg hg2cl2 and kcl okay so this is the representation of cell now the next point is your calomel electrode it acts as a anode as well as cathode okay it is totally depending upon the another electrode you are using okay if you are taking another electrode here if you are using platinum electrode in that case your platinum electrode acts as a cathode then your calomel electrode starts acting as a anode okay if you are taking any other electrode now then if it is acting as a cathode your calomel electrode act as a anode like that the behavior or the nature of the calomel electrode is totally depending upon the nature of other electrode okay that's what as your calomel electrode is acting as both anode and cathode you have two cases that is when the calomel electrode act as anode the second case when the calomel electrode acts as a cathode now we'll see one by one okay so first after this thing uh, draw the diagram and construction part you write and then cell representation the next thing you are supposed to write is represent sorry the reaction involved in the calomel electrode so as you know this calomel electrode acts as both anode and cathode you have to write two reactions separately so case 1 is when it is acting as anode case 2 is when it is acting as a cathode now we'll see one by one okay when it acts as a anode what exactly the reaction taking place and when it is acting as a cathode what exactly the reactions are taking place okay so first case is when it is acting as anode so in this case so it is very simple that you have only when one metal which is present in the calomel electrode so that is mercury okay mercury the only metal is present and at anode as you know at anode oxidation takes place what is oxidation oxidation means it is the metal is losing some number of electrons and that is converting it to its metal ion okay so you have hg here and hg that mercury is losing two electrons to become hg2 Two plus. Okay, so this is the metal ion. Now, in the earlier Nernst equation problem and in other um, electrochemical cells, what you are taken, you are taken cathode reactions. But here you are considering your calomel electrode only as an anode, right? Then you have to write the reaction like this. That time you are this metal ion that is a mercury metal ion that is. absorbing some chloride ions from kcl at kcl you have some chloride ions so that is going to react with that hg2 plus metal ions and going to form hg2 cl2 that is mercurous chloride now your hg is going to convert as a hg2 cl2 and you write overall reaction you just cancel the common term that is hg2 c2 Uh, sorry hg2 2 plus hg2 2 plus and then you write the remaining that is 2 hg here you left with 2 cl and this side you have hg2 cl2 plus 2 electron so this is the overall reaction when your calomel electrode is acting as anode so from this what you understand is your mercury is reacting with chloride ions of kcl and it is going to form hg2cl2 with the losing two electron or it is giving two electron so this is the case when it is acting as anode now come to the second case that is when it is acting as cathode so as you know already at cathode reduction takes place so reduction means you should have metal ion and that metal ion is going to gain some number of electrons 
to convert as a metal right so metal ions means you have only metal ions in the columbal electrode that is hg2 2 plus and that is gaining some two number of electrons to become 2 hg okay and the next after hg you have the mercurous chloride that is hg2 cl2 that is converting into hg2 2 plus plus 2 cl minus okay now you just uh, cancel the common terms from both the side hg2 2 plus hg2 2 plus now you left with hg2 cl2 plus 2 electron and it gives hg plus 2 chloride ions okay so this uh, this is the overall reaction when your calomel electrode is acting as a cathode now overall reaction you just consider this because the uh, most of the time your electrode this calomel electrode is acting as a cathode so just consider this as a overall reaction that is hg2cl2 is gaining some number of electrons two electrons and converting as a 2 hg and 2 cl minus okay now for this overall reaction you are supposed to write the formula for as a nurse equation that is the electrode potential for this calomel electrode is given by e calomel equal to e naught minus 0.0591 by n log of cl minus raised to 2 see here it is with respect to single electrode as you know e naught minus 0 0.0591 by n log of 1 by log of chloride ions so as in the product you have chloride ions and hg and in the reactant you have hg2 cl2 so the concentration of this hg2 cl2 is 1 okay and the concentration of hg also 1 so you left with chloride ion and raised to 2 this is the coefficient of this chloride ion so that that is a you have raised the power by 2 and this log a raised to m can be written as m into log a so how you can write log a raised to m equal to m log a so m is nothing but 2 here okay and in this reaction the value of n is 2 here you can see from both side two electrons are lost and two electrons are gained so n equal to 2 so this n equal to 2 and here you, you have m value that also 2 so 2 2 get cancelled here in the next step 2 and 2 and you left with e calomel equal to e naught minus 0 0.0591 log of concentration of cl minus ion this is at 298 kelvin okay this is the electrode potential of a calomel electrode and this potential of the calomel electrode is always depending upon the concentration of kcl this you should remember okay from this last equation what you understand is here you are not having any concentration of hg no hg 2 cl2 no hg 2 2 plus no here only the matter is about the concentration of cl minus here e calomel is only depending upon the concentration of cl minus ions not with the other ions so it is totally depending upon the concentration of cl minus ions so concentration of kcl if it is 0.1 molar then e naught value this e naught value will be 0.33 voltage that is the constant values okay if you are concentration of kcl is 1 molar then it is 0 0.281 voltage if you are taking the saturated kcl in the calomel electrode then the e naught value will be 0 0.242 voltage so this is the chart for the electro uh, sorry standard electrode potential when the different concentration of kcl is given okay this is the calomel electrode so this may uh, come for 5 marks so first thing you have to draw the diagram neatly and you label the things and then whatever you have labeled in the diagram section you try to write in the sentence form that is nothing but 
reconstruction part and then you write the cell representation HGL, Hg2Cl2 solid and then KCL and the next thing is your calomel electrode is acting as anode and cathode both. So here you should have two cases. The first case is when your calomel electrode acts as an anode you have to write this reaction and when it is acting as a cathode you have to write the second case reaction. Overall reaction should be considered for the reduction reaction and for that you have to find the electrode potential E value. E calomel is given by E naught minus 0.0591 log of concentration of chloride ion only okay lastly you are supposed to write the electrode potential of that calomel electrode is totally depending upon the chloride ion concentration and then you have to put this chart so the value of E naught that is the standard electrode potential for given concentration of KCl okay so this is all about the calomel electrode so some of the advantages of calomel electrode is given that is it is very simple to operate the first thing as you know the construction is very simple and the reactions are also simple and it is very simple to operate the cell potential is reproducible and constant over a long period of time the third one is the cell potential does not vary with the temperature so temperature as you know from this equation here no temperature is related so it is completely independent on temperature and no need of salt bridge okay so these are some applications or sorry advantages of the calomel electrode this is all about the calomel electrode and advantages of the calomel electrode i hope you understood the concept about the calomel electrode thank you